We are presenting here at the Music Messi our new uh, stereo loudspeaker processor. This is a new product that we are launching uh, this year. It offers exactly the same software and features as our multi-channel processor, uh, but it comes uh, in a smaller box and uh, it uh, has uh, two uh, inputs and up to six outputs uh, analog. It also has uh, two uh, AES, SPDIF or ADAT inputs and outputs. Uh, it comes with the, the optional measurement microphone um, that is used to measure the response of every loudspeaker in the room. And uh, as you can see on the screen of our multi-channel unit, uh, if we make a measurement, we will see uh, the distance of every loudspeaker. And uh, most importantly, we can see the frequency response of the loudspeakers. Uh, based on this measurement, we will make uh, an analysis of uh, the frequency response in the amplitude and in the time domain. And we will apply a compensation for the acoustical problems. Um, so this is the response that we will uh, achieve after the correction. As you can see, it's uh, more flat. But the goal is not to make it uh, totally flat, because this would create even more problems. So, as you can see, we still have these uh, big uh, suck holes in the low range. But if we compare to uh, the response uh, before the correction, the improvement is uh, quite noticeable. Uh, most importantly, in the mid-range, which is, of course, uh, the most important part. Uh, of course, you could even improve further the, uh, the results if you uh, make a pro appropriate acoustic treatment. Um, another important feature of this uh, processor is uh, the ability to optimize the phase response. This is the, the phase response for left and right loudspeakers. And after the correction, as you can see, we achieve a linear phase response. This means that the group delay of every driver is compensated for and uh, that uh, every frequency will be produced at the same time. Uh, whereas with any normal uh, driver, the, the low frequencies are produced later than the higher frequencies, which uh, um, obviously uh, doesn't uh, create a, a very clean impulse response. Uh, if we look back here at another interesting feature, it's the, the target curves uh, that we can define for the frequency response. So as you can see by default, it's a flat curve, but you can uh, create your own curve uh, according to your requirements. So uh, maybe to add a little more bass or uh, also to just cut the bass from a certain frequency. And of, of course, the same in the high range. Um, you will maybe want to match uh, more closely to your loudspeaker's response. Uh, if we move to uh, other examples beyond stereo to multi-channel, uh, I have here an, an example of a post-production studio. And as you can see, we have uh, the three front speakers and the many surround loudspeakers. Uh, the system measures also the elevation of each loudspeaker and uh, you all have all the details about the distance, the elevation, the azimuth, the level of every driver, so we can time align and calibrate the system. And uh, if you look here at the frequency response, uh, that's uh, the measurement, and this is the optimization. So as you can see, there is a roll-off in the higher frequencies, and this is because we have applied a target curve which is, uh, in this case, the SMPTE uh, X-curve for Dolby theaters, uh, which is uh, standard for cinemas. So, uh, what the optimizer makes automatically is that it tries to meet the target curve for every loudspeaker. And so, starting from the measurement, it will equalize so that the resulting uh, frequency response meets the target curve. Again, uh, you can see that uh, the, the response of the loudspeaker is not totally flat because this would create even more problems. So there are still some problems that can be further improved by fine-tuning manually with the parametric or graphic EQs. 
which are also included, or of course by proper acoustic treatments. Uh, so just to summarize, the new product that we are presenting is the stereo unit, uh, two in, six out um, loudspeaker processor, and our uh, flagship product is uh, the multi-channel optimizer with uh, up to 10 analog in and out, uh, 16 AES in and out, and 24 MADI in and out. Thank you.